Hello and welcome back my friends. We got an overcast day. Winter's right around the corner. Sure does feel like it now. But I wanted to touch on a subject I haven't spoken too much about in the past and it has to do with water. As many of you I'm sure are already aware, the human body is made up of 60% water. It's extremely important, not just for our survival, but for our overall health, well-being, and it can be challenging to get high quality water, especially if for some folks, depending on where you live, the water can almost be toxic, if not toxic. And so it's important that we develop systems, we come up with ways to ensure that we're getting the best quality water that we can. Now what I do is I distill water at home. I use a countertop water distiller and I've made several videos on this topic. I'm very happy with this process. It's affordable. It ends up costing me around 35 cents per gallon to distill water at home. And distilled water, if you're not aware, is pure 100% H2O. It filters out all contaminants, everything, heavy metals, lead, fluoride, uh, you name it. It's, it takes it out because what it actually does is boil the water in a vessel and collect the steam that collects towards the top of the vessel, runs it through a coil, and what comes out the other end is pure water. And that's great. Um, some folks get concerned because distilled water is also void of minerals and we need minerals. Minerals are important for our overall health. So distilled water isn't actually the best source of water. The best source of water for humans comes from plants. All plants, trees, vegetables, berries, shrubs, they are actually solar powered root water filtering systems. Everyone's aware of how plants and trees purify our air by absorbing the carbon dioxide, expelling oxygen. That's why it feels so good to get out in the forest and take a nice deep breath of that fresh, crisp forest air. But not everyone thinks about how Plants amazingly do the same thing to purify and give us the best quality water there is available. And there's many examples of this that you can find. For example, we just walked by my backyard fish pond. And if you don't have a pond, maybe you weren't aware, but the plants that I have growing in my pond, and because we are in the cold of winter, there's not a lot growing on, they serve a purpose other than just being ornamental. They're there to help filter and clean the water and create a nice habitat for the fish. So they actually take out toxins and pollutants in the water and create a nice environment. Well, guess what? Those edible crops, fruit trees, greens, and everything else that you grow in your garden to consume are doing the same exact thing. I mean, think about it. What do we do to grow nice, healthy plants in our garden? Well, most people are gonna use some sort of a fertilizer, perhaps a manure. So you're taking feces of another species and you're mixing it with dirt and you're pouring water on that and you're making a soup of what we would call sewage in order to grow healthy plants. And then when you harvest those plants, if you're growing it at home and you're not using chemicals, those plants are organic, they're safe to eat, they're healthy and they're good for you. You see where I'm going here? The plants in your garden are the best water filtration system that you have available to you. And the water that comes from the fruits and vegetables that you're growing is the purest, healthiest water that you can consume. So if you want to improve your health, one of the best things you can do is grow a garden and eat as much of those foods as you can in their natural state. Between fruits and vegetables, fruits are going to have a higher water content and the water content in those fruits is going to be of a higher quality. So you definitely don't want to overlook this as a way to create security for yourself and have little caches of water all throughout your landscape in the form of food. 
Not only that, the water that you get from the food that you're growing in your garden is going to be mineral rich. So it's a living water. But the root system of these plants are just amazing, the way they pull up the nutrients in the water and it filters itself. That water gets pulled all the way up the trunk of the tree, through the branches of the tree, and into the leaves and into the fruit. And what you got there is the best water for human beings. So in my opinion, and in many other people's opinion, the healthiest water comes from your food. And if you look at human beings and you're honest about it, what is our species specific diet? You may have heard that term before. Well, plants, herbs, raw fruits and vegetables are what digests the easiest. It's what feeds and nourishes the body and doesn't leave behind a lot of metabolic waste. So regardless of what, what it is that you choose to eat in your life, and I'm definitely not judging, I mean, whatever works for you is great, and you should continue doing that. But we need to be aware that the more water that we can actually get from our diet, so that we don't have to actually drink water as much, the better. You know, this past summer, I went on a raw food, plant-based diet for five months where I ate nothing cooked. And I did this because I feel great doing it and it's good for my health. It's a way to cleanse, it's a way to nourish, it's a way to heal. And I had a great time doing it. I've done raw plant-based nutrition for years. Uh, five months was the longest I went. Summertime's a great time to do it, regardless of where you're located because you're able to get plants and fruits that are in season. It can be harder in the winter as your crops narrow down. As you can see, we've got a lot of greens growing back here at this time. And by the way, they're, they're going bonkers and doing extremely well. The leaves on these plants are getting bigger and bigger each and every year. So a side thought here is over the years, what I continue to do is propagate and save the DNA through cuttings. And I also propagate seeds that come from those very healthy plants, the greens that I grow. And I let them continue to cross with the other greens that I've been growing. And I've been developing more and more unique varieties of greens, perennial. And the leaves are just getting bigger and bigger. Let me show you this one. Just beautiful. I mean, look at the stock on these plants. You may look at my greens and say, he's not even harvesting his greens. Wrong. We harvest greens every night, almost every night. But what we do is we go around from plant to plant and I might take that leaf and that leaf off this plant. And you can hardly tell it's been harvested from. And I spread out the harvest. I've got greens growing everywhere. And that's how we do it. So it keeps the landscape looking good. We're spreading out the harvest. So we're not pulling too much off of one particular plant. And we just end up with more greens than we know what to do with. And that's a good problem to have, let me tell you. So we are blessed to have the abundance of edible, healthy plants for us to consume. And one of the main, main benefits to growing your own food is the water that you get from your food. That's the purpose of this video. I wanted to share with you my thoughts and put these ideas in your mind so that you can realize if, if you weren't already in this state of mind, what you can accomplish. You don't need a large piece of land. I had many gardens that were four by four square feet and would grow four by eight square feet, four by 16 so on and so forth. You do the best with what you got. You utilize airspace when you can. Even if you're renting, that should never stop you. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful in some way. I hope it was entertaining for you guys. I hope you take me up on the challenge of growing 
food, growing more food if you're already into gardening. Take care of yourself, your well-being, your health. Enjoy life. Don't get stressed out over the small stuff. Don't get sucked into the drama, the mainstream news and everything that's always pumping out negativity. Stay positive. Stay true to yourself. Fill your heart with love. Get out in the world. Share your passion and your skills with the world. And not only will you be a happier person and a healthier person, but you'll be making a positive impact. Just keep on keeping on, folks. We're in the winter time. Some folks are covered in snow. Some folks are getting rain, lots of wind, cloud cover. Not many people are thinking of gardening at this time, but you know what? Now's the time to think, plot, design, order, and get ready for the upcoming year. Let's make 2020 an awesome year. Because if there's one thing that translates over into all walks of life, it's being out in nature, being out in the garden, all the lessons that you can learn in the garden roll over into life and help you to live a higher quality of life. We've been blessed with abundance. We were meant to have abundance. Everything we need is in the garden, including the water. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage here of my dino tree kale patch. Just erupting with beautiful growth. I'm very proud of these edible perennial green patches that are developing back here. I remember years ago having to run to my local Whole Foods and buy little bunches of greens to juice, to saute, to put in salads, to make wraps with. And now I've got an endless supply. And these greens are literally free. Small initial investment of time and money, and you're good to go. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you got anything that you want to share, be sure to leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys, as does Alice. We're going to be coming with some fresh, new content for you guys consistently and real soon. I'm excited about what's to come on this channel. And I thank you all for being a part of this journey with me. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.